15.3D, Rationalized Binomial Denominators. First, let's look at what does not work. If we have this, we cannot simply just multiply by the missing three because this will give us the square root of three over two square root three plus the square root of three squared, which is square root three over two square root three plus three. As you can see, the root did not come out of the denominator, so this does not work. Remember when we looked at conjugates, and if we had two plus the square root of three, that meant that we still had the two and the square root three, only the sign had changed to the opposite sign. Instead of addition, it's subtraction, or instead of subtraction, it's addition. Remember that when we multiplied these together, we always got an answer that had no radicals. In this case, it would be four minus two root three plus two root three minus root nine which gives us four minus three, or the answer of one. As you can see, there is no radicals. So, whenever we are rationalizing binomial denominators, make sure to multiply by the conjugate. Let's see this in example one. Here's example one. We need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate which means that it looks exactly the same, but instead of a negative, we use a positive. Now, let's distribute through on the top and FOIL on the bottom. This gives us 30 plus six root three over 25 minus five root three plus five root three minus square root nine. This then becomes thirty plus six root three over twenty-five, the middle two terms drop out, minus three, which gives us thirty plus six root three over twenty-two. Remember, you cannot simply just start crossing numbers out because there is more than one term shown with the addition here. So first, we must factor out the things in common between the two terms in the numerator, which means let's factor out a two. This gives us fifteen plus three root three. As you can tell, I could have factored out an additional three for a total of six being factored out, but I know that six does not go into twenty-two. Now let's reduce. Two goes into two once and into twenty-two eleven times. This gives us fifteen plus three root three over eleven, which cannot be simplified any further. Let's look at example two. Here's example two. Once again, we have a radical in the denominator we must get rid of. So we need to multiply by the conjugate, which remember looks exactly the same, but has the opposite sign. Now, let's FOIL each of these. Three times four is twelve. Then we get negative six root two minus five take that back, minus twenty root two plus ten root four. Now let's look at the denominator, which becomes sixteen minus eight root two plus eight root two minus four root four. Once again, the middle terms of the denominator are gone. Let's simplify each of these. We have twelve minus six and twenty gives us twenty-six root two, and the square root of four is two, 
and 10 times 2 is 20. Then we have 16 minus the square root of 4 is 2, and 4 times 2 is negative 8. 12 plus 20 is 32 minus 26 root 2 over 8. We now continue simplifying, but remember, we cannot simply just start reducing. We must factor out the common factor in the numerator. Let's factor out a 2. This gives us 16 minus 13 root 2 over 8. We can now reduce 2 goes into 2 once, into 8 four times. Now we can rewrite this as 16 minus 13 root 2 over 4. This is our final answer. Remember, when you are rationalizing binomial denominators to multiply by the conjugate. Also, you may have noticed that when you multiply by the conjugate, the two middle terms always disappear. If this does not happen, you did not multiply by the conjugate, and you should go back and check your work.